Hello everyone, this is your guy Hoogis Guy, aka Hoogis Le Dude, and welcome to the first episode of Together. This is a pod that I and me and a friend uh, thought about creating a while back now, uh, like a year back <laughs> actually, uh, but we never got around to it uh, for some reason. But today I'm doing this uh, alone to start off. Uh, with it, so just to experiment with it all, uh, just to see what you guys think about it. What am I going to do in this pod? What are we going to do in this pod, me and my friends? Uh, well, we want to talk about updates and uh, pretty much uh, things, random things, random stuff. Uh, you can also ask me anything you want in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer it in uh, the next episode, if there would be one. Uh, we'll see. Anyways, I want to start off with some updates on, for example, what am I doing right now? Uh, I'm doing some work for uh, Kedrick Jones, uh, who own uh, the Smash Bits channel. Uh, I'll post a link in the description so you can check that out. I'm making tons of League of Legends videos there, uh, which are really funny, so you should probably check them, check them out. And uh, what what's going on with my work? Uh, well, there's a lot to be honest. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. we'll talk about it all. I'm getting I'll I'll get to that in a second or two. Uh, yes, we'll talk about uh, pretty much how I got started uh, with uh, this whole animation career that I have right now uh, that I have chosen as my for my spare time stuff like that. I do work uh, regular jobs. And stuff like that, um, but in my spare time, I only animate. You know, I just animate. That's what I love doing, and that's what I'll continue with. But anyways, let's start off with talking about how it all started with me and this animation career of mine. And this is something that goes way back to my high school years, and maybe even further than that. What I mean is, that as a kid, I loved to watch cartoons. I mean, what kid didn't? <laughs> but I'm still this cartoon boy, even to this day. Uh, I do lo love to watch live action shows and movies, but in my heart, I'm still this cartoon boy. I love cartoons. They're the best. Uh, but, but I remember that... Uh, I loved to watch uh, these uh, internet flash movies uh, when we did get internet. This was around 2003, I, I think, two 2003 or 2004. Um, and I loved to go to this one site, uh, a Swedish site, where they posted uh, a lot of flash movies. Uh, <laughs> it was something I found extremely hilarious. Specifically the, the stick figure movies. And this was, was this was the thing that really started it for me, where where I would draw these stick figures and make you know frame uh, frame by frame on piece of paper and I would flip them and stuff like that. Yeah, that was really fun. But I would also make stick figure movies on PowerPoint, uh, <laughs> where I would uh, draw these stick figures and uh, hold the space bar on the keyboard so, and watch them you know move. That was a lot of fun and. I remember that I made a lot of Matrix parodies be because I was this huge Matrix fanboy, and uh, still am today. Um, but uh, I remember how much fun it was to, you know, just create uh, movies, you know, just create l stuff that move on the screen. Uh, I just found it very interesting, and I wanted to pursue that as my hobby at the time so I requested to the school that I went to that they start with animation classes because they were going around asking people uh, around the school what do you have any suggestions for a class that we should start you know like drawing stuff or uh, another type of class uh, I don't really know what they meant at the time but I suggested animation class and I wanted to do, work with that, and they wouldn't hear of it for some reason. But I, I remember that I demanded it even to the principal, and uh, he 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 was like, "Yeah, we'll think about it," and nothing happened. 
And so after high school, I searched to this other school that was uh, only about movie making and animation. But the funny thing about that is we didn't learn anything about animation till the last year. I went there for three years and the last year, th 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 that's when we started to learn animation. But in the meanwhile, I remember the first year I had uh, a friend who showed me this uh, animation program, uh, which is the program I'm still using today, which is Anime Studio, but at the time it was called Moho. Uh, and it's called Anime Studio today. Uh, anyways, and uh, I remember th the first thing I ever did was a parody of uh, this paint movie that I made earlier on uh, this uh, channel, actually, um, which is removed. But I still, I still, I saved it. I still have it, <laughs> actually. It was a parody of uh, that Tenacious D song tribute that I animated with stick figure figures, of course. Uh, it was actually a lot of fun to have this as the first animation work, and I still have that one today, too. Uh, the I don't remember what I called it. Uh, it was something like Testikernus B. I mean, Testikernus B, that, that's a stupid name. Well, what does it even mean? <laughs> but that was the very first movie that I made, a parody of uh, Tunisia's D's tribute. Uh, that was a lot of fun, actually. And that's what I started doing afterwards. Uh, these, uh, I, I don't know what you call it, uh, these sequences, uh, these sketches they do in that album, uh, like Drive Through or Friendship Test and all that. That was really funny, at least in my opinion. <laughs> and it's uh, a lot of fun to go back watching them and then I watch the stuff I make today. Uh, it's got a lot sexier, I guess. And that's how it all looked uh, for a while. I was just doing stick figures uh, and I, at the time I really didn't think that I was going to continue with this because it was <laughs> for, st for stick figure movies at that time I, I, I was thinking like wow this is uh, hard work this is very hard and it still is today I mean animation is hard work but I had I, I think I had way too big dreams at the time because I had this dream of making a show uh, that was going to be this you know big epic Lord of the Rings movie uh, and it was actually going to be called The Heroes of Shimikiro. What is Shimikiro? I don't know. That was, you know, just a word that I rambled up. Shimikiro. Shimikiro. Shimi oh, Shimikiro. Heroes of Shimikiro. That sounds awesome. So that's what pretty much became. The Heroes of Shimikiro. And it was about uh, this king who calls out to heroes around this country called Shimikiro. Uh, to help them uh, get rid of uh, these evil droid lords uh, who are uh, these undead kind of soldiers who are attacking Shimikiro, blah, blah, blah. It was a simple good versus evil mo movie or show. I remember that I made two, three episodes and they, they, were, all, uh, they were all like 10 minutes long <laughs> and very badly done. They were very cheaply done, and I was just, I don't know, I, I don't know what I, was, I, I, what I was thinking at the time, but I, I stuck to it for a while, and then I got really tired of it, because, as I said, you know, I was aiming way too high for this. After all that, uh, there wasn't much animation work for me at all. I think... It was for a whole year that I didn't do any animation work at all. But for some reason I came back. I, I can't actually remember why I came back and what really motivated me for this. Uh, but I think it was mostly out of inspiration. Uh, I was watching this show called uh, Cyanide and Happiness. I think that's what it's called. Um, and uh, that's the thing that inspired me to do the early show actually just in stick figure forms with box box formed bodies and something like that <laughs> uh that's what it pretty much was uh inspired by sign and happiness i guess people could call it a rip off i wouldn't blame them <laughs> no but 
that the early show it, that that's the show that really I, I I wouldn't say really got popular, but it got me a few subscribers. I think I had around twenty subscribers. I was like, whoa, twenty subscribers! Oh my fucking god! I'm like angry video game nerd or something. <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, the early show was pretty much about uh, these uh, stick figures, like I said, with box-shaped bodies, who would just do random things. Uh, and uh, that was it was like that for a while, uh, where in, in a couple of episodes they would just do random things, and then we would cut to them doing some uh, some other random things. Uh, and I I've saved these episodes too, actually. And I noticed that it was going for more story-based in the end, actually. <laughs> I think I got around to 10, 11 episodes. That's quite a lot. And these episodes went on until 2009, I think. Because uh, this is where we get to the Dark Ages, that I call it. I mean, I even have... Uh, more respect for me when I did the stick figure movies than I when I did uh, where I'm going to talk about now. Uh, now we're getting into the age of the Shibi animations. Good lord. Oh my god. You know, this is like the 90s of uh, movies. Uh, what I mean is that I really didn't like these animations uh, when i go back to watch these i cringe and uh, that's not even joke i'm not joking you know I, without being sarcastic or anything i fucking cringe every time i go back to watch these movies except for this one that i'm going to talk about very soon uh, it starts with blood and ends with high <laughs> don't freak out uh, and I distinctly remember that uh, I was proud of it at the time because this was the first time that I didn't do stick figures anymore, uh, and I felt that you know this is this is it. I'm not gonna get better any better than this. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, and I started this serious serious stuff and. Uh, a lot of short movies where I did with these shibi figures. I, oh my god, I can't even talk about it without cringing. <sighs> I mean, it, they didn't have fingers. They had these uh, gloves for hands, and the, the 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 shadowing was really fucking bad. the The lines were either too thick or too small on their bodies and their eyes on oh, good lord their eyes that, that's like something that i really take care of uh, today the eyes is like one of the most important things for me in a, on a character's face uh yeah i remember that uh, that i started to work on uh, this uh, show called serious serious uh, which uh, are still on YouTube, but what I, I, I I'm I'm just thinking about what what was going through my head when I was making this. Did I really think that this was going through with anything? Did I really think that this is you know the be best thing ever? I don't quite think so, to be honest. Uh, I just wanted to make stuff really fast and really cheap at the time, uh, just to satisfy the subscribers I had back then not doing that again never ever because most of the jokes were not thought uh, w well thought through or there was something wrong with the animation uh, and even then i can re i remember that i couldn't really look at it without going like ugh the fuck is this <laughs> it was like some kind of sickness watching these for me i really didn't like them but then then again we, we have some videos that i actually was proud of and this is where we get to blood high and i know that i'm going to get this lynch mob at me for, uh, for this where's episode three i'll tell you where episode three is in a moment let me just talk about blood high
what started it all and everything about that. I guess you're curious about that, right? Anyway, so it all starts with the, uh, this guy who comes from this party in Sweden who talks to me and he wants me to do this music video for him, animate a music video, and he paid really badly, <laughs> to be honest, like 50 bucks for a, I think it was a three minute long video. This video is still on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out, it's called Rotenur, um, Lika barn leka best, I think that's what it was called, Rotenur, uh, anyways. And uh, this guy really pushed me to the edge where I was going to actually quit the animation business, to be honest. Uh, mostly because uh, at the time when, when I started anim animating, I noticed that this guy wasn't, s s he wouldn't stop calling me. He was, you know, on to me every time and checking and checking. And uh, plus that uh, whenever I finished uh, his video i send it to him and he sends it back you know with a lot of changes just changes mostly because he he had watched this scene over and over he really liked it but now he was get, he was getting tired of it so change it for his sake yeah <laughs> believe me that this, the, oh my god this pissed me off beyond belief you, you can't imagine and this one, I, I finished the original video in like three weeks. I'm getting to Blood High, by the way. I finished the video in like three weeks. And because of his, his changes, the video was hold, uh, held back like another three months. True story. Another three months. It took three months to release this fucking video. And all I got was 50 bucks. Nope. It's hard to think about it, to be honest. Really hard. And he wanted me to do a sequel. And this time he was going to pay me a hundred bucks. And at the time, you know, I was desperate for money, so I was like, yeah, okay, I guess so. So here we are again, you know, he sends me the script, he sends me pictures of people he wants me to draw, and I just sit there, you know, pretty much brain dead, working on this video. It takes so long. I finish it in, uh, I think this time it took me four weeks or maybe four weeks four and a half weeks and he sends me changes and the movie is held back like two months a little shorter but you know it was pain this, this was even more painful than the first one he gets the video he says yeah this is good and I never got paid he didn't send me any money and I never heard from him again And uh, at this point in time, I was very depressed now because he had run me down so hard that I swore uh, that I swore that I, I was never going to do any animation work ever again. And like a month later, he comes back to me and writes, "Hey." Can you tell all your subscribers to come to my channel? You know, tip them about my channel. Because so far I've given you subscribers from my channel. He had like 16 subscribers on his channel. He, he didn't fucking care. I was so pissed off. That I, I told him, yeah, okay, I'll tip them about your channel. I, I never did. But I told him that I did. I didn't care at the time. I was so mad and I, I was so depressed. But uh, this is where we get to Blood High, finally. Uh, during the production of the second video, uh, I needed uh, to draw some random people in the background. And uh, I drew this female character that was uh, smoking in the background. Uh, she was just standing there smoking. Uh, that's, that's it. 
And I looked at her for a while. I didn't notice it when I when I drew her or after I drew her uh, when I when I put her on in the scene. It it was uh, basically after when I when I was checking the video again, and I noticed her in the background. I was like, "Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what is she doing there? She's way too characteristic to be here." You know. She, I look at her and I see so much character in this female. What what is it about her? She's cool. And that's where uh, that's where Garnet came in. So I took her out of this scene, removed uh, removed her from this uh, music video and uh, used her in Blood High later. And that's uh, because uh, at the time I was uh, also writing the script for Blood High. And I needed this cool character, and that's where she uh, came in later. Garnet, that is. So, Blood High. Oh boy, oh boy, Blood High. Where do I begin? Um, let me just take a sip. Ah. Blood High. Well, I can honestly say that uh, this is a nightmare, to be honest. I really love Blood High, if I'm going to be honest. I love the story in it. I love the characters. The only thing that I'm having problem with when it comes to Blood High is... I would say it's the animation, probably. But the, it was this Shibi animation that I didn't like. But Blood High was like the only Shibi style of animation that I actually did like. And when I watch, even when I watch it today, I'm actually proud of it. That's the only Shibi animation that I did that I don't cringe over. Maybe it was probably because this show was more um, planned. Well, not planned. I, I'm getting to that too. But it had actually had a story and a script and all that. <laughs> but when it comes to assets, characters, uh, background and all that, I was totally unprepared for this, people. I was totally unprepared. But then there was this other problem. And I remember this being one huge problem that I had. Uh, there was this anime that came out uh, at the time. This new anime show that I heard about, Kill a Kill, and I'm like, oh, Kill a Kill, what, what, what's that? Sounds awesome, and I check it out, and I go, Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is this isn't good, this is not fucking good, dude. This is Blood High. This is fucking Blood High. I check it out, and I, that's that's the first thing I say to myself. This is fucking Blood High, dude. And uh, I don't mean that they're back-to-back -back the same in story or anything. Uh, not exactly the same. Uh, but it was mostly the characters that seemed way too similar to mine. And the story was about, you know, a, a tough girl, this cocky girl who didn't have anywhere in the world or something like that, who fights people at school. with People with cool superpowers... Uh, Blood High wasn't about to have a, a suit that was that could talk or make someone uh, have superpowers because they donated blood. <laughs> and uh, it was not going to be a murder mystery about who killed uh, Garnet's father or anything. It was nothing about that. It was only going to be about this bullies in school uh, and such. But... Even so, you know, I watched a couple of more episodes and I realized that this is this is pretty much like they took the script from me and made it into an anime. That's why Kill a Kill is like the best anime I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, God. And I remember being so pissed off at this that I couldn't possibly make any more Blood High episodes because go watch Kill a Kill and there you have it. There's your Blood High. That's your blood high. That's the blood high I wanted to make. But hey, I stuck to it for a while and I managed to release episode 2, at least. And if people really want episode 3, write it in the comment section. You know, write something like, Fuck you, Hoogie Sky, make us episode 3. And 
if there are enough comments, then sure, I'll make it. Uh, hold on, I'm just checking the timer. Uh, let's see, we're at 25 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, so, yeah, during Blood High, I realized that, yeah, I don't like this style <laughs> at all. Uh, I started to experiment uh, with the new drawing styles and I drew on paper while I was at work. You know, during uh, lunch breaks, I would just sit and draw new stuff like all the time. I wanted to have this more humanly shaped body, not this short dwarf <laughs> body. I wanted to have something more uh, human-like. I, I guess that's how you can call it maybe and uh, that's where we get to the Kim videos I guess the first video uh, with this style I think it was with uh, ask a kimono girl which was a video no it was called I hate manga uh, <laughs> and that's my joke video to pretty much anime that you, you probably noticed that in the Wanna Dance with Kim, that this is like my little joke about how anime is today, in a nutshell. Uh, but this is a style that I really like. And, like, in my opinion, like six billion times better than the Shibi style. And I, I've stuck to this style ever since. I'm still doing vi videos with this style and... You know, videos are getting harder to make, and they're taking longer. Not not only because I work for Kedrick, and uh, I'm making videos for him, but it's because uh, that I would say that my animation style has gotten better uh, with time, and it takes quite a while to make videos. You know, I, I know that I made a couple of short videos, but that's not the type of stuff that I want to create, to be honest. I want to make, uh, I want to focus solely on story videos, you know, shows and movies, uh, motion pictures, maybe even, no, but at least movies that I put some fucking thought into, at least. Uh, and I can't do that with short videos to be honest, because then it, it will only end up with tits and ass. But I have an audience to entertain. So I make a few short videos, uh, when I have the time, at least. And even so, they're only like between 20 seconds to like uh, 50 seconds, uh, I think. Like maybe a minute or so. And that's that's it. That's pretty much it. But what do I have in store for the future? Oh, well, that's a, that's a good question, actually. Uh, I think a huge hint is, uh, is in that uh, Shantae summer break video, if you check the end of that. 10,000 subscribers, bitches. But you can always check my Newgrounds account, uh, where I'm posting exclusive videos. I haven't posted anything there for a while now, but... Trust me, it's coming. I'm always working on new stuff. And you can always check Twitter. I'm trying to update that as often as I can. You know, whenever I have news for you guys, I'll update that shit. Oh god. I don't really know what to talk about, and I'm sure that I have missed something. I just feel it in my bone, but uh, that's where you guys come in too. You know, where we can talk about stuff together. That's why I call this together. Because together we can talk about anything you want. And you can write questions in the comment section. And I'll be more than happy to answer it in the next episode. Uh, I see now that we're almost reaching 30 minutes. So I'm gonna sign off people. But I hope you have a good summer. And remember to ask me some questions in the comment section. And I'll answer them in the next episode. And please share your thoughts about what you thought about this pod. So we can take note for the next episode. Thank you. Peace out.